Uh, but tell us a bit about your personal journey, because of course, um, I mean, I think everyone in India was so proud to see you and Indian American uh, there, in a sense, the lead of this project. You actually uh, left India only just one year, one year old. Tell us about your personal journey to where you are today. Um, my family emigrated from India when I was very young. I had a fairly traditional upbringing at home of Indian mm -hmm. cultures and, and values. Uh, in terms of work, I was really inspired into space as a child and, and watching Star Trek and seeing those beautiful images that they had rendered of, of space. And that's how I, I became curious about it. I would read as a child these nonfiction books on what nebula were and what the Big Bang Theory was and planetary exploration. And it just kept growing from there. It wasn't until I was a junior and I took my first physics class that I started to understand what engineering really was about and that oh there gosh. was a way to connect these two and not just have a job, but actually to have a vocation that was filled with passion. Um, so I went to Cornell University that actually has a history of working um, in space exploration and the Mars program uh, specifically. And right. From there, I tried to intern as many NASA centers as I could. I think I interned at four or five different NASA centers until I found um, the niche of what I wanted to do in guidance, navigation, and control. I was super lucky to be able to go to MIT in the Aero mm -hmm. Astro Department, the Space Systems Laboratory. A lot of the people that I met there in doing the research uh, actually are also with me at JPL. We have mm -hmm. a large contingent not just at JPL, but on the Perseverance rover mission herself. So being able to work with them all the way since grad school has really been a privilege and shows kind of how tight-knit the, the community is in, in building uh, space exploration and planetary exploration in, in particular.